Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and today we're going to go over command line options offered by Playwright. The chances are, if you're watching this video, you've already used the command line to execute your Playwright tests, and this would be using the npx Playwright test command. So I'll hit enter on that, and what we'll see is all of our tests inside our test pack are going to run. In this case, I've got two files with two tests, so you can see that running there. If I open up the documentation, you can see that Playwright offer a list of more common options to execute by a command line in their documentation. I'll link this in the description as well, or you can see the link at the top of the screen. But if I quickly go over this, you can see a bunch of examples how you execute all tests, how you, ex sing how you execute single tests, and it'll go through a bunch more others. And they'll also offer um, references to things you can overwrite from the configuration file. Now, we're not going to cover all of these in this video. However, I want to provide a few working examples. And as I put out more videos, you're going to see more um, detailed explanations for specific options that are going to be very useful for you. So let's jump back into the test pack. And we've already gone through the more simple one, which is executing all tests. Now, what I can also do is I can say I want to execute a single, a single test file instead of all of them. So you can see here over to the left, I have example spec and example 2.spec. So I'm going to say I only want to run example spec. Now, what I can say is mpx playwright test, and then I can put the name of what I want to run. So in this case, it's going to be tests forward slash example dot spec dot ts. And if I had enter on this, you're going to see it's only going to run that one test file. Let's just wait for that to go through. There we are running the one test using the one worker. And I could do the same if I say example two spec, that'll run only the example two spec file. So let's wait for that to go through. So Playwright is a little bit more lenient with things as well. So I could say, because this is quite unique where we only have like example two or example, I could just say, only run example two, and this will pick up everything that has example two. So in this case, it's just the one test file. You could do that for folders as well. And you can pass multiple, um, multiple parameters to this as well. So let's wait for that to run. I can also say example.spec, and I could say example two. Hit enter on that, and I should run both of the test files for us. There we are, running two tests using two workers. Brilliant. So that's just the really easy stuff, the how you can run specific files, how you can run, you know, a group of files inside a folder or whatever you want, or run multiple files together. You're probably not going to use that too much because you're going to use systems like tagging, or you might even use the dot only annotation when you want to debug specific things. Or if you've seen my VS Code extension video, you might even just use the extension and not run via the command line to do this kind of stuff. So what I want to jump into now then is projects. So if I go into the playwright config.ts and let's scroll down, we've got one project here. So it's always automatically going to run this, but I'm going to uncomment this project. So we now have two. So if I was to execute playwright right now on its own, it's going to run four tests because it's going to run two in Chromium and two in Firefox because we have a Chromium project and a Firefox project. So here we are, you can see that two are going through for Chromium. And once that passes, there'll be two for Firefox. Now I might want to say, okay, I want these projects and I don't want to comment them out each time. So what we can do is we can actually say npx playwright test dash dash project equals and whatever the name of the project is. So in this case, we're going to take the Chromium one, whatever you've named it. And if I hit enter on this, it's only going to run that specific project for, for us rather than running all of the projects we have. So you can narrow it down to what you want. So there we are. We got the two tests using two workers. And you can see the Chromium project uh, has been loaded and there's no Firefox one anymore. Another thing I think that's very useful is the debug option as well. So you can you can start a test in debug mode and it'll open up the Playwright Inspector. So you can start playing around, adding some code, seeing how the actions are performed and everything. And that's really easy to do. So I'm going to keep the project set to Chromium so I haven't got to remove my Firefox. And I add another option to say hyphen hyphen debug. 
and what this will do is each test will load and it'll open up a playwright inspector on, alongside it so i'm running in debug mode and i can see what's going on so you can see it's gone to one worker because we're in debug mode and once this loads up what we see here is we have the playwright inspector and it's loaded our test up in headed mode because we're in debug mode of course and i can start continuing through the test so i can say step over this take us to the playwright.dev page i can start um inspecting elements doing whatever i want so if i could click on that you can see here in the inspector that it's found the locator i could copy and paste this into the test if i wanted we're going to cover debugging and the playwright inspector in more detail in a future video but i'm just showing you that these options are available and ready to use to make your um debugging and your maintenance and your creation a lot easier so i'm just going to close out of this and one thing that we've just done, which uh, we didn't explicitly state, is, you know, we add in our options together as well. So you, you can pass as many options as you want. So we just touched on some of the basic options that can be passed via command line to make your life a little bit easier. Um, like I said, we're not going to cover everything, but that's a start for you. And as I go through more videos, we'll be talking about the really useful ones in more detail. In a previous video, my Playwright configuration video, which I'll put a link on the screen and in the description now, I did discuss a bunch of different options that can be set. A number of these can be overridden via the command line, kind of like what you've just saw here. Um, and it's worth noting that the command line will take a priority over the configuration file options. Um, like I said, there's a list on the, uh, on the documentation. However, let's use retries as um, example for this point of how the command line will take priority. If I go back, oh, there we are within it. If we did go to the Playwright config TS, we can see that our retries are set to no um, zero. So this is just saying if within the CI environment have two retries, else have zero. Or we could also just cut this down to make it easy and say zero. So I want to make one of my tests fail. So let's go back here and we'll say, Playwrights expecting it to fail there. So let's go npx playwright test. Let's keep the project as Chromium. And let's say we only want to run the example.spec file. So let's hit enter on this. And what we expect and see is a failure because our config is saying, so our test we've, we've made to fail, but our config is saying zero retries. So we should see one test, no retries after it. Okay, great. So we can see here that. You know, it tried to find it, but it didn't because the text had SSSS and it failed and it only ran once. Now what I want to do is pass through the retries option. So I'm going to say retries and let's just set it to one. Hit enter on that. So what we're expecting now is the command line argument to take priority over the configuration file argument for retries. And that should reattempt. It's going to fail again, but we should see it try in twice. Okay, that failed and there we go we've got the retry happening there and we're expecting that to fail as well so like i said let's go back to the documentation you've got a bunch of different things here that you can pass through and you can override the configuration file um as always i will be providing more videos on specific options but if you do have any questions please leave a comment below and as always thank you for watching and have a good day